Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel and happy Friday. First, the update from Ukraine. President Viktor Yanukovych has signed a peace deal with the opposition, but Russia hasn't signed on. Meanwhile, the parliament has voted to release former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko from prison. What is the United States saying about this? What should we say? I've got Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan joining me now. Peggy, what do you want us to say? What, what should the president, what kind of message should he be putting out there? I, I think in all international crises, America should always make clear its first principles, what it stands for, and second, it should make clear its sympathies. If you sort of have guys who are more or less good fighting against a system that is more or less bad, there's no loss in saying we are very sympathetic to these good folk who are reflecting, in fact, principles that have reflected us for years. Well, I want to put up the White House statement that was out uh, on Thursday, and let me quote to you from that. The United States will work with our European allies to hold those responsible for violence accountable and to help the Ukrainian people get a unified and independent Ukraine back on the path to a better future. What's wrong with that? Well, it was in the middle of a bunch of mush <laughs> that, that suggested a certain moral equivalence and that spoke of the process and that was very rounded and was clearly intended to be calibrated, but I thought it was not so much calibrated as meaningless and weenie-ish, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Tell me Just what you really think, on. Peggy. Yeah. Meaningless and weenie-like. Weenie okay, well, well, what has happened then, not just to the Republicans, you know, the Reagan Republicans that used to be very strong on defense, but also to the Kennedy Democrats that, that like the Reagan Republicans, you know, had a view of where America stood in the world and, yeah. and, and would have come out with a stronger statement than yeah, this. Yeah, I think in the past dozen years, both parties have become a little confused about the meaning of the word strength. They started to think, oh, if you're strong, you invade. Well, that's not necessarily what strength is. Strength is holding to your principles, speaking clearly, attempting to give sympathy and inspiration to good guys. Do you know what I mean? It, it, you don't either invade or say nothing. You put American principles forward. We did not invade the Warsaw Pact countries uh, in their years of suffering between 1945 and 1990, but we let them know every day whose side we were on, why we were on it, what we stood for, what we wanted to encourage within them, who the bad guys were. That's a good thing for a great nation to do. It's even the job of a great nation. Peggy, in your, in your op-ed this morning, uh, it's up on WSJ.com now, it'll be out in the paper tomorrow, uh, you talked about the U.S. brand and that it implied that the president, by not speaking up for American values, was, was really harming our brand in the world. It, is, it, is it not just harm, Peggy? Is it, is it gone? Is it really destroyed for good? No, it's ripe for a comeback. We must always be optimistic. Uh, look, I think the brand, if you will, we have to admit we're speaking the vulgar term of marketing in America, but the U.S. brand has been muddied in the past dozen or so years. It became, uh, uh, on the one hand, it came to seem too belligerent and naive in one sense, and after that it came to seem like something meaningless with Mr. Obama where the world doesn't seem to take him seriously. You're almost not sure he takes himself seriously when he draws his red lines and his lines and makes his stern threats that you sense the world is going fine. <laughs> you know, not responding as if an American president put forward a marker. Yeah, so this well, is where we it would stand. be nice if this president would put down a marker and then uh, actually follow through. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what he does in the coming days. Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan, thank you very much.